Hey guys and welcome to part three of the mini series about coming and working in Sweden as a doctor. So this part is dedicated to what is called the Kunskapsproof, which is the medical license exam. Now who needs to do this medical license exam? Only those that graduated outside the EU. That's important for you guys to remember. So this exam is in Swedish and it is divided into two big sections. One being the theoretical and the other being the practical. The theoretical is further divided into another two subsections. Uh, the first one is the preclinical subjects and the other one is the clinical. Preclinical subjects is everything that you started to study and see in med school before you actually saw patients and went on rounds. So stuff like microbiology and pharmacology and whatnot. Uh, and the clinical part, it's more related to organ systems like neurology, cardiovascular medicine, pulmonology, nephrology, and so forth. So that's good to remember. So this section is about 182 questions, multiple choice, some cases, some more straightforward. You have a total of six hours to do this thing. And uh, you're going to have, um, it's important to know that you're going to have some breaks in between, but um, you have to know that time does matter. So don't put too much time on, on a certain question and forget that there are other questions that are waiting for you out there. Um, you have three shots at, at passing this thing and you won't be able to do the practical exam if you don't pass the theoretical one. So this is that. The second part, which is the practical exam, is based on OSCE scenarios. So what is an OSCE scenario for those unfamiliar with it? An OSCE is basically you get to play doctor. <laughs> so you go to, to the hospital and there you will have um, actors portraying real patients sitting in uh, different rooms. And uh, on the door, taped, uh, will be the case presentation of this patient. Like a small history of what this patient is complaining about, what they're coming here for. You get a few seconds to read about this, uh, this patient. And when you enter inside the room, you're going to see the actor in place. And you're going to see an instructor um, or, um, you know, a, a viewer. Uh, which is essentially um, a doctor that is evaluating your performance. They're going to be they're going to be sitting on the side. For most of the time, they're going to be silent and will only interact with you when you ask them certain certain questions that are, that you need the answers to. I'm going to give you an example to that about that later. So the moment you enter the room, you have a time, a set time for you. Uh, for 14 of the 18 stations, you will have six minutes to complete your evaluation. And uh, afterwards, the timer will finish and you're able to exit the room and go to the next station. So this is the first day. And the second day, you're going to have uh, only four stations, but each of which has 14 minutes of time dedicated to it. So what is, uh, what is it that this instructor or this uh, viewer is going to be looking for? They're going to be evaluating your physical examination of the patient, your history taking, your differential diagnosis, the questions that you ask them. That's what I'm talking about. You can ask uh, you can ask uh, the evaluator certain questions, for example, results of blood tests, EKGs, stuff like that. And they, they will usually answer this stuff. Other things that they're going to be looking for is if you're able to come up with a diagnosis in time. It doesn't, it doesn't always happen to be the case. It's good for, as well for them to see that you're thinking right. You have a future plan like future tests, MRI, stuff that you want to do in the uh, in, the, in the upcoming future, and as well recommendations and advice for the patient. Remember, this actor is portraying exactly as a real patient, and you should talk to them as you would to a real patient. Um, and this test is evaluated basically on your performance. It's not only pass or fail, it's based on how well you pass. So it can be either an exceptionally well, well done performance or, um, you know, a poorly acceptable okay performance. If you happen, God forbid, to fail two of the stations, your test will end immediately. You're able to redo the test three times in total. So when it's all uh, you know done, your your results are all sent to the social citizen for um, uh, further, basically evaluation. And if you pass, it's already passed. But they they just evaluate your entire case file and they tell you that okay, now it's okay to move on to to the final steps in order to become a licensed physician. So this was this video. Please be sure to check uh, the upcoming one next week, which is really dedicated for those who graduated within the EU. Uh, so it's slightly different than that of those that graduated outside the EU. It's good. Uh, it's good to check this one out. And you can follow me on the Snapchat and Instagram pages. It's um, it's just 
daily stuff every single day. You can always ask questions, comments if you're ever wondering about anything. And please share these videos if someone is wondering, someone that you know is interested in coming here to Sweden. So hopefully this might be a bit helpful for them. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the subscriptions. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon.